chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Many who try to climb it fail and never get to try again. That is a quote by Peter Baelish, one of the characters in Game of Thrones. <laughs> what is chaos? Long time ago, in a land far, far away, I was introduced to chaos theory. As a physics student in Sri Lanka, I did my undergraduate thesis on chaos theory. During that time, I suffered enough going through the physics and math of it. I'm not going to make you go through it. <laughs> However, I want to share a few things that I learned during that time. In fancy physics terms, chaos theory is the study of apparently random or unpredictable behavior of systems that are governed by deterministic laws. Let's say chaos theory is literally chaos. Let's use pinball game as an example. If the, the moment of the ball is entirely governed by the laws of physics, however, the final outcome, where it will go, is unpredictable. Another term that is often discussed in chaos theory is the butterfly effect, which suggests that the flap of a butterfly's wings, say in Milledgeville, can create a tornado in Sri Lanka. In mathematical terms, chaos theory, two fundamental properties of chaos theory include nonlinear interdependence and sensitivity to its initial conditions. Oops, there I go into my physics speak again. <laughs> Rather than discussing the physics and math of chaos theory, I want to share with you, show these as common ideas that we use in our daily lives. I want to share with you that although you think you and your efforts may seem like the flaps of a butterfly wings, you can make a significant impact. Although you are one in eight billion, you and your efforts can make a difference. I was born and raised in a coastal village called Payagala in Sri Lanka. When I visited Sri Lanka last year, I was not able to play on the beaches I used to play as a kid. No, not because I'm too old to play on the beaches, but the beaches I used to play as a kid are simply gone. I don't want to reinforce the impact of climate change, but I want you to know your efforts, although it feels like the flaps of a butterfly wings, do matter. Let me consider a simple example. Consider a 60 watt light bulb. If you are using it for one hour, you are using 0 0.06 kilowatt hours. Assuming an average cost of say 10 cents per kilowatt hour, for using that you are using 0.6 cents. I'm sorry, I'm a physicist. I do these types of calculations every day. <laughs> the takeaway message is, if you are not using that light bulb, by turning it off, you are saving 0.6 cents. When you look at that number, 0.6 cents, it just feels like the flaps of a butterfly wing. But that calculation was for just one light bulb. If, there are, if, there, if the light fixture has many bulbs, and if you are turning it on for days, months, and years, then the savings become significant. You have heard anecdotal numbers in terms of savings in terms of dollar amount, or in terms of making an impact in environment by reducing the carbon dioxide emissions and other greenhouse gases. I want to take that one step further. Remember chaos theory? It is sensitive to its initial conditions. If you have kids, as soon as they reach the height that they'll be able to turn on and off light switches, teach them 
to turn off the lights when they are not in use. When they reach that height, probably by the age three or four, they may not be able to understand what climate change is or what greenhouse gases are. But you create a habit that in, term, in long term have a significant impact. Let's consider the same example. If your kids turn off the lights, say in their playroom, for three hours per day, for five more years, until they start learning about sustainability or climate change, you have already saved $30 in terms of dollar amount. You have saved 120 grams of carbon dioxide emissions. But again, if you look at that number, $30 and 120 grams of carbon dioxide emission, it may look like the flaps of the butterfly's wings. But remember, that calculation was for just one household. If we teach our kids at a very young age, they start doing these things by habit. When you turn off a light, when you are leaving the room, you just turn off the light, not thinking about dollar savings, not thinking about carbon dioxide emissions. We may have to repeat, turn that unused light off, turn that unused light off, turn that unused light off a thousand times before they pick it up as a habit. It's fair. Those of you who had kids know that they made us listen to nursery rhymes over and over and over again. Remember, in chaos theory, it is sensitive to its initial conditions. Newborn babies are like blank pages of the books. It is us who help them to write the, at least the first few pages in their books. Knowing chaos theory, knowing how it is important to create the initial conditions, knowing that chaos theory is sensitive to its initial conditions, there's something I, want, I thought of about myself. I have a four-year-old son. I want to create the best initial environment he can or he could so that he can thrive. Knowing physics, knowing chaos theory, I know how important it is to have that best initial conditions. And I want to leave the earth, this world, a better place than I found it for him. I taught my son the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. I want my son to teach the same nursery rhyme to his children. Not the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, but there was none Extreme weather due to climate change has caused a drought. <laughs> I don't lie. There were times I felt helpless. Knowing physics, knowing how things work, that fear compounded. Luckily, chaos theory reminded me that my efforts, even my individual efforts, can make a difference. I want you to know the same. I worked with my students at Georgia College and State University and hosted renewable energy workshops for local area elementary school students. We were able to see their twinkling eyes filled with curiosity, preparing the next generation of leaders in the fight against climate change by introducing these ideas at a very young age. Here in Milledgeville, although we are less than 20,000 in people, I want us to know our efforts can make a difference. Our efforts may seem like the flaps of a butterfly's wings on a global scale, but we can make a difference. In Milledgeville, at Georgia College and State University, we do have different entities working towards achieving the sustainable future. I want us to leave our silos and come together and work together as one knowing that the flaps of the butterfly's wings that we can have in Milledgeville can create a tornado on the other parts of the world 
say, in Sri Lanka and vice versa. Just like chaos. Climate change is in the pit. Climate change is a ladder and we are given a chance to climb it. When it comes to climate change, I want you to know your individual efforts can make a difference. Your efforts as a family can make a difference. Your efforts as a community can make a difference. Let's flap our wings a little harder. And when it comes to the fight against climate change, let's flap our wings a little harder like our world depends on it. Your world depends on it.